with Christopher Daniels versus this man, Roman Reigns, the big dog. The guy is in the building, Roman Reigns. And I got a feeling though that Roman may have a lot in his mind heading into this Friday as he takes on John Moxley. No doubt about that, because don't forget the history between both those men, only known as Dean Ambrose, John Moxley, has a lot of history of Roman, and both these two were known as the Shield, but their Shield brother, Seth Rollins. And we know that Christopher Daniels and the SCU will take on the powerhouse's own, Jay Reigns, Leon Hader, and of course, Ash Ketchum, coming up this Friday as the road to invasion is already becoming a, an all-out war, I'll tell you that much. And oh, wait a minute. Speaking of SCU, here comes Christopher Daniels. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 200. 24 pounds, representing the SCU, Christopher Daniels! Christopher Daniels, formerly known as the former one man who is always ascending to the heavens and always the self-proclaimed the man of angels. I'll tell you that much. Christopher Daniels, a former NWA World Tag Team Champions with, with his longtime friend AJ Styles back in the olden days of TNA. Former now known as Impact Wrestling. And I got a feeling though tonight is going to be a big night here as we got a big match card in store for you. And here we go. Rippy calls the bell. We got a big match card in store for you tonight, folks, as we already know. And coming up next, Juan Tejeda is in one-on-one -on -one action. The Mexican Destroyer taking on Santana. And that's going to be an all-out war, I'll tell you that. And then coming up in our third matchup, an eight-man battle royal. Where the, where the WCW Cruiserweight title on the line as the WCW Cruiserweight Champion Goku defends his title against all comers from ACW and HWF, even in TNW that are Cruiserweights. We don't even know who's going to step up to the plate and challenge Goku for the championship. We're going to find out later on in our third matchup. Then our fourth match, we're being told that on the other hand, the wife of Cody Rhodes, Brandi Rhodes, will be in one-on-one -on -one action as we're being told set the square off. We don't know who it is, but... Oh, wait a minute. I'm being told from the floor that Brandi Rhodes is in one-on-one -on -one action that we're being told is against... Nice super kick by Christopher Daniels, but I already know that Brandi Rhodes is set the square off with... With Pan, Goku's granddaughter. My goodness. Boy, what a match that will be. And then our main event, Cody Rhodes in one-on-one -on -one action with Colt 412 in the Behind Clan hardcore matchup. No doubt about that. That's going to be an all-out war, I'll tell you. This is a preview down the road to Invasion. And Christopher Daniels with a full Nelson. Applied there, but Roman escaped it. What a full Nelson there by Christopher Daniels. And now Roman sending Christopher to the corner. And now the right hand of the face. A big right hand by Roman. Taking it to Christopher Daniels here. As you can tell, Christopher Daniels has no SCU members with him this time. He's on his own here. Scorpio Sky losing his match to, to Brock Lesnar a couple of weeks back. And a one-legged drop kick by Christopher Daniels. There's that kick in the face as the... One of the members of the SCU sending a message to the powerhouse. But that's not going to be easy because Roman Reigns is the big dog. This man is not going to give up any way he can. And a front suplex. That was a nice front suplex there by Christopher Daniels. But this young man, uh, this man had a lot of potential back in the world of wrestling. I just wish he were with the WWE. I just wish he were back in the WWE. 
The discus right hand by Christopher Daniels. That's right now, that was a discus right hand to the face. And now Roman picking Christopher Daniels up. And a snake eyes as he rolled the dice. I think that was payback from Las Vegas, I'll tell you. Christopher Daniels, on the other hand, better watch his back because the powerhouse represent Las Vegas, Nevada. No doubt about it, because SCU represents Southern California. And Roman sending Christopher Daniels to the outside here. This is an unbelievable sight we are seeing here as Roman looks to be dominating Christopher Daniels. And what the? Wait a minute. That's one of the members of the SCU. Well, that's their music, but who, which one is it? Roman telling him to stay out of this match. And, oh my God, wait a minute. Frankie Kazarian, spinning hill kick. Wait, Frankie Kazarian, right in the face of Roman. Come on, ref, get him out of here. Christopher Daniels with a hook in the leg. Will that be enough? And whoa, Roman got the shoulder up. Frankie Kazarian. Looks like SCU's plan is not happening tonight. So I, didn't, I, didn't, I knew where Frankie Kazarian was, but that son of a gun, Christopher Daniels, now the signature move, cover here. Two, no! And Roman staying alive in this match, not backing down at the hands of Christopher Daniels and the SCU. I knew that music from somewhere, Frankie Kazarian getting involved in this match. Christopher Daniels! Moonsault! An amazing moonsault here! Cover two! No! And Roman Reigns staying alive in this matchup! My God! Why, my God, what a matchup we are witnessing here! As Christopher Daniels just mocking Roman. And now Christopher coming back. Setting him up the ropes. Drop kick to the face! Another vicious drop kick! The SCU! Sending a message to the powerhouse with that double team. First it was a spinning heel kick and then Christopher Daniels feeling a signature movement. There it is again, the flatliner. Cover here, one, two, no. And Roman staying alive in this matchup. Daniels already trying to give it his all to take out Roman Reigns, but Roman is coming back. I think the big dogs had enough. Spear! The spear by the big dog! Cover here! One, two, three! And Roman Reigns picks up the win! What a win for Roman! And it looks like SCU's plan has backfired. There's that spinning heel kick by Frankie Gazarian and the face buster by Christopher Daniels. Look at this again, watch this. Bam! Right in the face of Roman who was busted wide open there, my God. He needs to receive medical personnel after that. And there's the spear, which was the final nail in the coffin. Here's your winner, Roman Reigns! Roman Reigns, a bloody mess and all, surviving that heinous attack by the SC freaking U. The SCU have better watch themselves come this Friday because the powerhouse is not backing down. I'll tell you that much, but right now though, folks, still to come. Coming up next, Juan Tejeda versus Santana before he meets Ortiz in the Mexican street fight. And that matchup is big, and it's up next. Just who is Cole Michael Behan? I always do what I can for my subscribers out there. And... To be honest though, it's always a great time to try to give everyone a great video that they'll never forget. A YouTuber who starts off somewhere by running a great YouTube channel of all time, or as an alter eagle named Cole412 who wants to show everyone a real good time. <laughs> Find out with Behan, a YouTube documentary coming to YouTube. Inside, Cole Behan himself talks about his lifelong story and how he got started on YouTube from all his stunning successes as well as his own defeats. The debut of TNW, the HWF, 
and ECW, the battle with Larkin the Hedgehog and taking on Grimm's Toy Show. Get exclusive interviews from the people who know him best, the Behan family, Leon Hader, Ricky Tenacious, Noah Anderson, and more. Plus, you will see some of the greatest YouTube videos that were ever seen on YouTube, including Cole Behan's famous rivalries, and his classic matches, and the greatest 412 films ever created. Just who is the real Cole Behan? Find out with Behan, a YouTube video coming soon. And we are back live here. I forgot to mention we are coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. As we already know that this is going to be an all out war to the road to invasion leading into the Rockford Metro Center. The following contest. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is going to pour one ball. Making his way in the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 195 pounds. He is the TNW United States Champion, Juan Tejeda. Juan Tejeda, the Mexican destroyer, making his way to the ring as he's got a big matchup coming up this Friday in that one on one match against former LAX member Ortiz. Yeah, but he's going to take on another former LAX member, Santana. Because Santana is one of the all-time dominating members in the history of LAX. And now they're both members of the inner circle. Juan Tejeda, one of the all-time great U.S. champions in the history of TNW today, has already defeated The Undertaker to win that title last year and has made more history ever since. The man's a street fighter. The man lived in Mexico. And this is a hard-working man in the U.S. today. And that's why I believe he's all-American right there. Holding up that U.S. title belt. Look, we had Invasion this Friday. All the titles are not on the line. As things are going to heat up at Invasion. When Juan Tejeda squares off with inner circle member Ortiz in a Mexican street fight. And right now, folks, the rules of that matchup are simple. There are no qualifications, no countouts. Anything goes in that matchup. And Juan Tejeda already feels at home in that environment, no doubt about it. The man's a street fighter, and the man is a legend. And you're looking at a TNW Hall of Famer, one of the greatest of all time, looks to give it his all this Friday going in for TNW. Well, the man made his Las Vegas Senior House debut a couple of weeks back and took out the legendary X-Pac. And here comes Santana. And his opponent from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 197 pounds, Santana! Santana representing the inner circle tonight. Former member of LAX, one of the old time dangerous individuals in the history of wrestling, making his presence felt tonight. The man was a former longest reigning Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champions with Santana over with Ortiz over the years, but got taken out and dominated by the real LAX members, Homicide and Hernandez. Two of the most dominating individuals in the history of that organization ever since. Here we go. Referee calls the bell. And Juan Tejeda with a snapmare. But folks, earlier tonight, before we came on the air, before we came on the air, before the matchup between Roman Reigns, and of course Christopher Daniels even got started, Cody, Cody Rhodes came out irate and upset, taking it to his talent. And of course, the Crust Cousins. The Crust Cousins, Britt and Tiff, were mocking Colt 412. And of course, Jenny Wakeman. The Crust Cousins self proclaimed they know Joe Wolf, claiming that Colt 412 is a poor man. But that led to the ultimate show of disrespect. And wait a minute, Santana was playing possum. And only gets a one count. One to hate up, did not see that one coming. And I don't know, folks, on the other hand, Wolf 412 was not happy. But when he came out, he didn't come out 
of the stage, he came out amongst the Phoenix, Arizona fans. Well, it's one of his old home states. There's no doubt about it because that's where his cousin Dakota Behan lives. And that led to an ultimate problem for Cody Rhodes and the Crust Cousins when Colt 412 said something about cleaning up the Crust Cousins' nasty, dirty mouth of theirs. And I think I knew what he meant in the form of the Sisters of Vengeance, Rowdy Ronda Rousey and Ember Moon. And AEW and WCW getting out of Dodge, but that was an all-out war during that during this huge invasion. And the fans were standing on their feet. I'll tell you that, that was a sign of ultimate show of respect for TNW, ACW, and HWF. And right now, though, folks, on the other hand, it's going to be an all-out war leading into our eight-man battle royal coming up next. Who's going to get an opportunity at the WCW Cruiserweight Championship from ACW and HWF to TNW? We're going to find out coming up next after this matchup. As you saw, Wanda Hata came in the ring. And, oh, look at this. What a combination by the Mexican Destroyer. And Wanda Hata with those piston-like right hands, aiming right in the face of Santana. And here we go again. He's aiming right for the head of Santana there. Uh-oh. I think the Mexican Destroyer is heading up, going for it just like... Santana saw it coming, reversed the spear. He was going for it just like his just like his grandsons. The spear off the corner. Cover, no, and another one count. Santana not taking this lying down, and neither is Juan Tejeda. As both these two are giving it their all tonight. What do they got? Santana, a former member of LAX, who is now the member of the inner circle with Ortiz. And one of Chris Jericho's thugs doing a number on Juan Tejeda in this matchup. And a springboard moonsault. More like a lion salt. Take us down to Jericho's playbook. Cover here. Two. No. Juan Tejeda staying alive any way he can. Trying to give everything that he's got for Tuesday Night War to win here. Oh, no. We've seen this before. Oh, my God. He's going up top. Pointing out to Juan Tejeda saying, get up. What's he going to do here? From the top. Neck breaker off the top, my God. Santana's finishing move, the neck breaker off the top. Cover here. Two. No. And Juan Tejeda staying alive in this matchup. Juan Tejeda not going in this matchup just for himself. He's going in this matchup for his family tonight. But everything that he's got against Santana, like he meets Ortiz, this Friday in the Rockford Metro Center. And oh my God, a stomp on the back of the head of Juan Tejeda. Santana now, mocking Juan Tejeda, just mocking the Mexican Destroyer. And the fans here are not appreciating Santana's performance one bit here. Wait a minute, Juan Tejeda bringing him back in. And he's got Santana right where he wants him now. He's got him on the ropes. Whoa, a shot to the gut. Another shot off the ropes. This is cool slide from Juan Tejeda. Taking something out of the mix. Taking something out of the Street Fighters playbook. Off the ropes now. What's he going to do? Up in the air. Knockout punch. My God, what a move. You're doing right. That was awesome. And everyone here in Phoenix are loving it. Juan Tejeda coming back with cool lines of his own. Off the ropes. Power slam. Juan Tejeda coming back with everything that he's got. And he sends Santana over the top. I think everyone here in Phoenix is getting their money's worth tonight as Juan Tejeda is taking it to Santana out on the outside. And these fans here on the front row are getting their money's worth tonight. Here in Phoenix, Arizona. And Juan Tejeda right now back inside the ring, right where the action has to be. That's where you conduct your business. And what a punch! Into a headbutt! What a move by, San by Juan Tejeda to Santana! Another jab right in the face. Using his Street Fighter tactics to win. Knockout punch coming, no! 
Santana reversed it into a spinning pile driver. My God. Shades of Zangief. And... Oh, come on. Santana mocking this Phoenix, Arizona crowd. And now Santana coming back with some clotheslines of his own. Just mocking the Mexican destroyer. Mexican destroyer off the corner, but whoa. A vicious right hand. Another right. Look at Walter Hayda. He's not giving up here. Whoa, from the second row. Here it comes. This drop in the face. And Santana had a world of trouble here. Looking for it again. Are we going to see the spear? Can he go for it this time? Spear! Shades of his grandsons. Cover here. One, two, no! And Santana kicked out. Santana was on a roll during this invasion, winning matches. But his winning streak may come to an end here tonight. Knockout punch! That knockout punch couldn't do it right there, but he's not done yet. Going for another knockout punch. Super kick to the face. Juan Tejeda getting super kicked right in the face, right in the jaw. And oh, here we go again with a springboard moonsault. And he spans here, Phoenix. Here's the cover. Not like this, dang it. Not like this, no. Whoa. How the heck did Juan Tejeda kick out of that springboard moonsault? This is amazing. So I'm not giving up as Juan Tejeda showing a lot of heart and soul in the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mocking Tommy Dreamer with a Death Valley driver. Cover. Two. Three. No. Look at this. Santana's in disbelief. I'm in disbelief. How is the Mexican Destroyer staying alive in this matchup after a Death Valley driver and a neck breaker from the top? And it looks like Juan Tejeda's cleaning house and he's staying alive in this matchup tonight. Any way that he can here. And he's showing you why he is the Mexican Destroyer. No. Oh my God. Face first off the top rope with that move. Super kick. Juan Tejeda ducked it. A right hand. And he's just mauling Santana. Taking him down. With those piston-like right hands. Oh, here we go. A little shuffle. And what a move by Juan Tejeda. He must have took a lot of boxing lessons from Brandon Lightning Lee with those shuffles. Whoa. Elbow in the face. Counter. Santana and Juan Tejeda are giving it all in this matchup here. Just look at this. These two men are refusing to stay down. There's got to be a winner in this matchup here, folks. It's anybody's ball game here to get a win. Santana trying to send a message. Like he faces Tristan, Yugi Moto's friend. Oh, no, here we go again. Here's the cover. Two. Three! And Santana once again defeats another TNW, an ACW superstar. That springboard moonsault did the damage there, but that damage by Juan Tejeda did the damage. But you gotta give the devil his due. Juan Tejeda gave it his all in this matchup as the Mexican Destroyer dominated this fight. Here's your winner, Santana! Santana! Winning again, already on his winning streak here. But his winning streak is bound to come to an end this Friday when he meets Tristan in the biggest match of his life. I'll tell you that much. The ACW talent given an opportunity this Friday to face against the AEW and WCW talent. But speaking of opportunities, coming, coming up next, the eight-man battle royal for the WCW Cruiserweight title on the line. Goku defends his WCW title. Being his WCW Cruiserweight title against all talents from ACW here in TNW and the HWF. We don't know who it is, folks, but we're going to find out when we come back. The eight-man battle royal coming to you. Ah, uh, next.